denim jeans for two and three hundred dollars. Like, really? Like, who, who's doing that? Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. Hi everyone, welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, we talk about thrifting, fashion, refashioning, upcycling, and sewing. So if that's the type of content that you're interested in, then click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, we are gonna get into these great upcycles this week. These upcycles are really easy and quick and you can probably pull some items out of your closet to create these upcycles. Now, I've been following a lot of the influencers and I've been looking at these high-end websites at all of these expensive jeans. They are jeans. And I know the style of the jean, these different styles are trending, but these cut-off denim jeans for two and three hundred dollars, like really? Like who, who's doing that? I mean, Who's doing that? Not me. And since I have committed to 365 days of not buying any new clothes, I am thrifting my summer wardrobe. And part of that is thrifting and part of that is upcycling. So I found, I saw these jeans online and these Maison Magella jeans and I thought they were so cute. So I went out searching for the perfect jean that I could upcycle to make these jeans. I was looking for something high-waisted. I was looking for something that had a fuller leg. Y'all, I struggled. I mean, I really struggled. But I finally did find a pair of jeans, two pairs to make some wide leg jeans. So wider through the hips and the thighs and wider at the bottom. But and then I found a pair of white denim jeans that I wanted to cut off and distress and make for shorts. And then another pair Again, that had a high waist that I wanted to cut off to just make cut off jeans. And I'm telling you, this, this was a whole weekend hunt at the thrift stores looking at jeans. I must have tried on about 50 pairs of jeans and gone to three different stores looking for jeans. So anyway, one day I'll show you that video of me trying on all these jeans. But I finally found the perfect jeans that I needed to make all of these styles. So I'm bringing them to you today and hopefully you'll try one of them. I think that they're pretty easy. Um, the longest part that it's going to take you is putting them in the washing machine so that they can fray and unravel and distress. Uh, and that's the tricky part because depending on the denim content is going to determine how your distress is going to look. And so I ran into a little snafu while I was making these and um, hopefully that'll help somebody out there. Okay, so let's get into these upcycles and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, first we'll get started with the easiest pair. Now, these jeans by Wild Fable have a high waist. Uh, they're actually labeled mom jeans. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to just cut these off and make these into cut off shorts. Simply that, just a little bit longer than regular shorts, throw them in the washing machine and they'll be frayed. That's it for that one. Next, I'm working on the white denim jean. And the first thing I did was cut them off uh, a little bit longer than what I wanted them because I figured I could always cut off more later. Once I cut, then I began to start distressing them. I tried to run the scissors across them, that didn't work. Um, I tried pulling out some of the edges that didn't seem to work and at this point I was like what is going on so I started making cuts and slits in the front in the back and just pulled some of the threads out to see if that was gonna work and then I took these and threw them in the washing machine okay needless to say I did not like the way these turned out um, the distressing didn't look really nice because it caused the 
shorts to be tighter in the thigh area and I wanted the shorts to be loose and that's because the fiber content of the jeans had a lot of elasticity in it so I seam ripped the sides of the shorts the side seams up to the edge of the pocket right there and then I used the legs and I cut a triangle piece and I attached that to the side of the shorts what I was trying to get at is give the shorts more looseness in the thigh, kind of like be a little wider. And so I cut these little triangle shapes out, pinned them to the side, and I stitched them together. Um, and then once I stitched them, I also distressed the sides, washed them again, and then I tried them on. Now, they're a little wider than I wanted them to be. So what I decided was that I would cut a little bit shorter and cut the extensions on the side um, at an angle. And I think that's gonna give me the look I want, especially if I go in there and make a little bit more distressing on the side, that will bring it in. Um, and yeah, so that's what I ended up doing with these. So here you can see, um, I already cut one side before I came on the camera. I folded it over to match it up with the other side and I cut it at an angle. Then I went in with my scissors and um, I trimmed a little bit off the bottom, a little bit more off the bottom, pulled a little bit of the threads out, and then I went in and distressed the sides as well. Okay, so now I'm going in to just do the little distressing here. Um, I know that once I'm done distressing it, I throw in the washing machine that I'm not going to have any problem with it shrinking up, so it should be fine. I went and I used the lower part of the pants leg and I cut some strips, uh, two strips, attached them together and sewed them around the top of the waistband of the shorts because I wanted to have the distressed look at the top of the jeans as well as at the bottom. I thought this would be a cute little design feature, especially if I wanted to wear like a crop top or a contrasting color top, and then you could see that distressing at the top. It kind of gives you a really high waist look. So I just attached these strips to the top of the shorts and um, it was a little bit longer so I just clipped it off and then I threw these in the washing machine and there we go all right moving on to the wide leg jeans the first thing I am doing is taking a loose the side seams as well as using a seam ripper to undo the hem uh, at first I wasn't gonna undo the hem but then I decided I better undo the hem because these jeans were too short already. Um, I took the second pair of jeans and I created this triangle shape using the second pair of jeans and I connected this triangle shape to the opening that I'd created on the main pair of jeans. Now the main pair of jeans fit really nice in the waist and in the hips. So I really only needed the width from about the thigh on down so you'll have to measure this for yourself um, as you can see here i took the little triangle shape and i am clipping it um, and pinning it to uh, that to the original pants and um, i also took the hem out of the triangle shape as well and i matched that up at the bottom um, it's really important to make sure that these pieces match up at the bottom um, if you decide you want to add extra fabric later to make them longer, which is what I ended up doing, but I just found it better to start at the bottom and work my way up because if the bottom is uneven, it may make it look really raggedy. Now, I apologize. Something weird is going on with my camera. It is zooming in and out, but you get the gist here. I am sewing from the bottom up to the top of the triangle shape. When I get up to the top, I'm going to stop right at the side seam and the side stitch that's in the original jeans. And I'm going to line that up with the middle seam of the triangle from 
the jeans that I used um, to create that little extra. And I just wanted you to see in here how that stitch goes right up to that um, that middle seam line. And that's really important. So I went back in here to back stitch to make sure that it was secure uh, before I go and sew up on the other side. Uh, this is really important. Um, you want to make sure that you're sewing all the way up on both sides and making sure that those stitches match up at the top because you don't want to have a little hole or a gap in there. Um, fortunately for me, this fabric pressed really well. So um, even if I had a little flaw in there, you really couldn't tell because the fabric pressed down really nice and good. So this is me sewing up the other side. And again, I'm going to save your eyes because this camera is doing something so weird. So what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. All right, let's get back to this upcycle. Okay, got my camera together and it's focusing a little better now. So now you can see where I went in and stitched that triangle into that seam, side seam and back stitched. And then I flipped it over and did the same thing. Now you can look at it. It still has a little bit of a gap. So what I ended up doing on both sides, since it had that little bit of gap, I started from the top of the sides of the jeans and the original side seam I stitch down until I got to the top of the triangle and back stitch and that ended up giving me just what I needed to make that nice and flat right there at the hip side seam I did that on both sides just to make sure that they were equal and I was very satisfied with the outcome once I press this it's going to be it's gonna flow like there was never any separation. Now I turned the jeans inside out. I clip that top off, flip the jeans over, lay them down on my ironing board, take my iron and steam this part of the jeans down so that they lay nice and flat. So I tried these on with some mules and they were just too short. Um, I then ended up putting some flats on and they were okay, but still I didn't feel comfortable. Um, so I took an, I had an old pair of jeans. I cut the bottoms off of those old jeans. They were, these jeans were literally sitting in my sewing room on the table. So I took them um, and I evened them up cut them in half, made two long strips out of this and added this to the bottom of those flare leg jeans. And this was probably one of the best decisions that I made because once I stitched this together, it gave me just the length that I needed to be able to wear these flare leg jeans and feel comfortable with them either wearing heels or even if I wore flat. After I pinned these strips to the inside of the pants leg, I took it to my sewing machine and I used a straight stitch just to stitch right on top all the way around. I apologize, my battery in my camera died and I didn't capture me completely sewing all the way around here, but you can see that I started um, stitching the two pieces together at the bottom and then um, went in where I had it pinned and just top stitched all the way around. Then I took these and threw them in the washing machine and let them fray the rest of the way and I really really liked the way they turned out. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. Those are my denim upcycles to enhance my summer wardrobe. I am really excited about wearing my distressed white shorts. Um, I really love those. I love the way they come out. They came out because I feel like they look very different and they don't look like everything that you're seeing. Um, my regular cutoffs, I just wanted something that was different from like what I'm wearing now, which are like really short kind of cutoffs. And um, the Maison Margiela 
my little knockoff. Now that it's really hot in Chicago, I'm probably not gonna be wearing the bell bottoms. It's 98 degrees. It was 60 degrees yesterday. Today it's going to be 98. So this is crazy. Anyway, so thank you guys for joining and I will see you next week. Bye.